Americans are among a group of experienced sailors missing in the South Pacific. They disappeared nearly two months ago, but now a text message sent just before they vanished is giving relative new hope. Manuel Bohorquez spoke with the families of those aboard. They shared a love of the sea, boarding an 85-year-old schooner, the Nina, for an Australian adventure. Six Americans and a Brit, ranging in age from 17 to 73. Among the crew, Ricky and Robin Wright's only daughter, Danielle. She was nine months old the first time we took her sailing. In May, the college student met up with her shipmates at this port in New Zealand for a 12-day journey across the Tasman Sea. On May 29th, the Nina left New Zealand on its planned route to Newcastle, Australia, a thousand miles away. Around June 4th, the crew reported hitting bad weather and sent what was believed to be their last communication. The weather's turned nasty. How do we get away from it? A meteorologist advised them to steer south, but to stay prepared for more bad weather. The Nina was not heard from again. That meteorologist, Bob McDavid, never sensed panic when he spoke to 73-year-old Evie Nemeth. They were concerned, uh, but they weren't in trouble. They, weren't, they were in control. Evie's friend, Barb Diker. She's unflappable in any kind of situation that would have other people in panic. It wasn't until June 25th, three weeks later, that New Zealand rescue teams put planes in the air, searching a vast area of ocean. On July 4th, the New Zealand Coast Guard called off the search. But now, many believe the Nina may have been far from the original search site. Evie Nemeth's son, Laszlo, spoke to us in an online interview from New Zealand. The original information that New Zealand RCC had place the vessel further east than it actually was. Inaccurate information because officials discovered an ominous text an entire month after the crew went missing, sent from the boat but never received. The message read, sails shredded last night, now bear poles. Going four knots, 310 degrees. We'll update course info at 6 p.m. We think they're out there. We just have to find them. The Wrights and other families believe the missing crew is still alive. They've hired the private Texas firm EcuSearch to find out what happened. I only have one child. <laughs> so. Danielle's neighbors have tied blue ribbons around their mailboxes, holding out hope for her safe journey home. For CBS This Morning, Manuel Bohorquez, Lafayette, Louisiana. You know, it's an interesting thing. First of all, weather is every sailor's nightmare. And secondly, the terrible thing about this, this if there is no response and, and you don't know, I mean, the worst thing is to know the tragedy. The second thing is not to know. Well, we were talking about this in the meeting yesterday. I mean, they've been gone for two months. And there are a lot of people that think they have, may still be alive out mm. there. And as a parent, I mean, you can't sleep at night knowing your child exactly. is out there. Um, Until you have some kind of completion to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue to follow the story to see what happens.